Last time on the Lazy Geckos. All right, just checking in. It's my third watch. The winds are at about 140 and blowing about seven and a half. And we're going about three and a half knots. Long Island and Crooked Island. It's been a nice sail. Just anchored, thank goodness. I've been much, much more seasick in the past, but um, it's still a comfortable ride. Think about the rudder well it needs bearings that's for sure as we go along i'll check it keep watching it and then we'll replace it as soon as we can anchorage spot number three Third time should be a charm just moved anchorages went around the island a little bit the dinghy's been banging against this pole uh as we go through rough seas it bangs right against it we try to secure it at the aft end of the dinghy, but it just, it's not working. Shake that thing. <laughs> It was really nice sailing. It was pretty good direction. I was happy. Except for this. <laughs> Screecher. Another so, one down. Once again, I got to have fun wrestling a sail down in the wind. But basically what happened was there's these little U-bolts that hold it's kind of this thing kind of together. So it hooks up to the bow spirit. It goes down there. And then it kind of got shot up and I had to come wrestle the sail down. But this line right here goes down to the water line where it hooks up to the bottom of the boat and that holds the bottom of the bow spirit down and it, the metal piece broke that holds that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this sail down. I'm gonna replace all that tackle, both sides. 
uh, and anything up here, and then we'll put it back up. For now, for now, we're just gonna take it down and not worry about it, and hopefully we'll get the Genoa repaired while we're here. Let's see, but wrestling sales is not fun, man. No. They have a lot of force. I mean, it worked out good. Luckily, it happened, it was right after uh, sunup, so that was nice, because we could see what was going on. We didn't have to have the extra, you know, the added bonus of flashing a light up there, you know? Yeah, no kidding. So, it's all right, we can just take stoves away, and everything will be just fine. Adding experience. Yeah, that's for sure. I was pulling on the, fur, the furling from back there, and it was just like, it was a bad angle, but luckily we were able to get it mostly put away. This is just a little bit left that wouldn't go, but it is what it is, man. At least I don't believe the sail got damaged, so that's key. You did a great job holding it out. Wow, you this salon is riddled in toys. You've taken over, Reese. It's definitely your home. Bye. <laughs> Did you figure out the problem? It's stiff. Maybe it'll pull it out a little bit. I won't be able to really be able to tell where it's at until we raise it again, but. I can get it out. It's really weird. I gotta, I gotta figure out where all these lines go. Well, it's better that it was stuck on reef rather than not being able to reef it. Yeah. So that's a plus. Right, yeah. Well, we'll get sorted out. We have accumulated a little bit of a to-do list, and we'll pull into the marina and we'll do it. I have to get shackles. I need to get, try to get the sail repaired. Um, Got to measure the rudder bearing. So, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. A lot of paperwork for the Turks? Yeah, I'm putting down everything. They want to know about all, all tobacco goods, wines, spirits, perfumes, weapons. I'm pretty sure they're going to confiscate the weapons. That's what I've read, but... And while you're here, they take your weapons and they hold them. And then when you leave, you have to tell them like 24 hours before you leave, then they bring them back to you. So I'm just putting everything on there. Um, I don't really know how many bottles of wine and beers we have, but I'm just going to put wine or spirits in, whatever. And then we'll see if they want to count it all. I don't know. And what about you, little Miss Bella? They confiscate her too, but they don't, they use the weapons actually. To put her down. Okay. I have done. That's why they need the weapons. All the paperwork correct. They sent me a permit. So we should be all good, my little support dog. Actually, your daddy's support dog. Well, I wish you the best, Bella. I tried my best. Let's good luck, Bella. <laughs> let's see how it goes. Another gun out of the collection. Let's Just get it. Verifying serial numbers. You gonna be sad to watch your guns go? No, I'm not, all, I'm not like one of the people that are all attached to their weapons. <laughs> but, um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it goes. You always hear, you know, everybody's like, that's impossible. If the dog, if they take our weapons and we get them back before we leave here and the dog doesn't get murdered on site, I'd say it's been a successful day. <laughs> successful trip to Turks. But, you know, not the end of the world. They, they ended up taking the guns and they take the guns, you know? Yeah, it's okay. My dog paperwork, this was probably the most stressful part of the entire thing. 
you will find if you cruise or once you start cruising, a lot of people skip the Turks because of their animal. It's nearly impossible to get done, but I think that she's registered as a support dog mm -hmm. to Jeremiah because he's a veteran. He was able to do that and she does provide a lot of support. I don't know if it's good support or bad support, but she does it's provide that to Jeremiah. Primarily <laughs> stressful support. So, you know, that helps that she's registered. I got her in her, her permit, which I had to apply for by jumping through a million ho hoops. The hardest one is probably the teeter test. I got that done, got approved, she passed it. And then I had to also get international health certificates completed. I had the head guy from the Department of Agriculture in the Bahamas come to our boat at 7 p.m. He filled this all out for me. Only cost me $80 for him to come. The teeter test was $25 because I went through the military, which is incredible. Usually it's about between $500 and $700 if you go to a vet anywhere out in town. So if you're military, you should really do that. I got a health certificate, a regular one from the vet in the Bahamas. He also treated her for internal and external parasites. Bella needed to, in order to come, she needed to have two primary vaccinations. So that's six years worth. Each vaccination is three years long. So I have both primary vaccinations prior, and then I was able to do her teeter test. Then immunization records. I had to also do extra steps to get like the, the lepto test. Here's my application to import her. I have an international health certificate from the States. I needed that as well before I started all of this. And that's not even it. <laughs> Besides all that paperwork, which I've been stressed about for months, and now we're coming to the day, I also had to get... You love your dog, man. Yeah, this is Bella's cubby right here below our trash can. But it fits all our stuff. I had to go out and buy a microchip reader that'll read all microchips. When I first got Bella 10 years ago, she was microchipped with the, I think it's a European style microchip. Now they have a different style microchip. So she actually has two microchips, but all of her records go with her very first microchip. A lot of these places don't have a reader for that kind of microchip. So I had to go out and purchase my own reader. I believe it was like $380 and now I can read her microchip myself. If you get there and they can't read her microchip, then none of her paperwork matters. So all of her paperwork goes with her old microchip and then I have a reader. So yeah, my heart's pounding even thinking about it. It's a lot. I feel a little emotional. <laughs> um, she's my dog. Just like you're my husband, she's been with me a little bit longer than you, and I wouldn't kick you to the curb. I don't know how many microchips? <laughs> Actually, you do. I don't. Well, mentally, the military has put a stamp on you. Brainwashed me. <laughs> so, Where's that dog? I don't even she, know where she is. is in the spare room. I don't want. Usually, I let her out and run around, and we have the doors open. I don't want her running around until they've cleared her because I don't want to give them a reason to be like think I'm to think I'm disrespecting them so I put her in the spare room until they clear her and then she will be free to roam she's already yipping at me like mommy 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 she hasn't been off the boat in like two weeks mm, that's good we've been off the boat a couple times because we went we dingied to the beach and stuff but she ha not here in the Bahamas mm -hmm. I guess she got off with us yeah but yeah, she's feeling cooped up just like us. She has feelings just like you. Mm -hmm. Coming up. You ready, Reese? Yeah, what am I going to do? All right, make sure you guys um, drive on the right side of the road, please. Yeah, no kidding. Megan's first provisioning trip. I'm a moron. Why? No, you're not. I dropped the dinghy and forgot to put the plug in so it like fill up with water. Oh my gosh. So another level excited. <laughs> Explore some. Have you ever explored the mangroves? No. Oh, well, you're really doing a two-tank dive today. To ensure that he doesn't get electrical shock. Coming to help. 
You ready to place the shackle? Ready. They like hit you like here, like in that part. Did they hit you here? No. Oh, it hurt real bad. <laughs> There's a leak when we turn the engine on. Our episodes are fueled by Patreon. See how you can be a part of our journey at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos. Want to get behind the scenes? Follow us on Instagram. There's tons more fun to see on our Vimeo channel. You can find the link in the description below. We've been working all hurricane season for this. Are you ready to take this adventure to another level? We are. Oh. How is it? It's good. It tastes good when you're working for it. We've added a huge feature for you to enjoy. Hey, Our private server is live, baby. Visit us at www.lazygeckos.net to access episodes, exclusive content, bonus footage, live streams, photo shoots, and more. We are also in the process of building free apps for your tablet and phone. You can also qualify for free access by becoming a patron. See details at patreon.com forward slash lazy geckos.